Hey everybody. So I'm really into everyday carry EDC, love watching those channels. And I thought, why not do an EDC, what's in my bag, teacher edition. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, so to start, I've been using this North Face messenger bag, I'd say for probably a good 11 years, and there is hardly any signs of wear on it. I highly recommend, if you're in the, in the market for a different teacher bag, check out some North Face stuff. Obviously, you are getting what you pay for with North Face. So what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna quickly go through pocket by pocket and show you what I've got going on, where I keep specific things in this bag. Here we go. In the very outside pocket, there's a tiny little pocket right in the front. This is where I tend to keep some smaller things like USBs. I've got a few different thumb drives that I've been using over the years in my teaching, various gigs of memory and stuff. So right in that front reachable pocket, kind of the, the small knickknacks, that's where I tend to keep those. And then right past that small first outer pocket, there's an open sleeve area here. That's where I tend to just keep the glasses case. Occasionally I'll throw the computer power cord in there as well and it's a super easy pocket for just reaching in and grabbing things even when the bag is over your shoulder and you're walking or traveling, whatever. If there's something super handy that you need to grab, throw it in that front pocket. I'll cover the two outsides just so I can get rid of a little bit of weight. So always when I come into work each day, I've gotta bring some water, fill this bad boy up with some ice always sits in this right side, well, when it's over my shoulder, it's kind of on that side, uh, pocket for easy grab. And then the other, other side cup bottle sleeve area, I keep my wireless mouse. I've had this one for probably a good six or seven years again too. Wouldn't survive a teaching day without a wireless mouse. I see a few teachers throughout my career carrying around mouse with a cord and plugging it in each time. Get a wireless mouse if at all possible. So that's, yeah, super handy. It just sits in there. The next pocket working towards the big back, the next pocket I kind of, I'll call it like personals pocket. So you've got your outside pocket, You've got that reachable sleeve, and then we're into kind of the personals pocket here. I threw my computer cord in there, but again, that I might slip into that bigger pocket too. So this is kind of things I might need if I'm feeling sick, ill, whatever comes up. I tend to get colds fairly frequently because I work in schools or petri dishes of disease. So I've got usually a bag of hauls kicking around ready to go to help me out. I really like these, Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes. Um, I tend to just use these because I spend really long days at the school being a band teacher. I am here for hours. There are some days I won't go home till 10 p.m., concert days, whatever. And I just find these are really good to just give the face a good wipe and just refresh everything. I just kind of feel like I can sort of reset when I'm just working here for a good 13, 14, 15 hour day. I can pull one of these out and just feel like I've refreshed for the day. So I tend to keep these Burt's Bees facial cleansing towelettes with me at all times. What else have I got? Oh, something I've learned by watching other EDC channels. I like to keep an extra tote bag it's just cloth, it folds up really small. I can just tuck it away into a pocket just in case something comes up and I've got an extra bag sitting in here ready to go. That could be things like, I don't know, I have to take home a change of clothes, I have extra marking I have to take home. Whatever I might need an emergency for, I keep an emergency bag. Uh, we have some cold and sinus daytime down to a single pill left, but it's always nice to just have access to these just in case something has hit me throughout the day. 
and I tend to get headaches as well, so I've always make I always make sure that I've got access to some liquid gels. And living in Alberta, the temperature gets down to like minus 762, and you never know when you're when you're going to need just a little bit of moisturizer on those dry days. So I keep some hand lotion there as well. A couple key writing utensils are in the slots there. A sharpie, a nice pen I like to use just in case. And what have we got in here? We're looking at one of these little portable cologne spritzers. Again, long day, just in case I'm needing, needing a little bit of a refresh, I can give myself a quick spritz again as needed. These are just, uh, you take the sprayer off the top of your favorite cologne that you use on a regular basis and you just fill up the bottom of these little bad boys, punch, pump, 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 pump. And then it's full and it's ready to give you a spritz when you need it throughout the day. Anything else in here? Nothing. So that's kind of my personals drawer, personals pocket, as it were. Then we get into the main, the main big pocket in the bag. And this is where I'm keeping my books usually. So with me, I'll always have some sort of reading material, whatever whatever professional reading I might be doing at that time. I'll keep it in the bag just in case I have downtime somewhere. I'm at a meeting somewhere or whatever and I just, I need to wait and kill time. I'll have my personal reading I can do. I did a video on this a while back and you can see it's got some stickers going on it already. I'm a stickers guy, you're gonna be able to see here in a little bit. Uh, but this is my lesson plan book. So this is the lessons and marks and apparent communication and seating plans and timetables and all that stuff. That's my, this is my every day I need this with me at all times book. Next, I'll keep some sort of a, a notebook, some just plain spiral bound notebook that in case I need to just write some long notes for something. Um, there's a little bit of space in the teacher plan book as well for notes, but it's sometimes nice to just have access to a big notebook that you've got some paper for note taking, sketching, whatever you, whatever you need to do. Plans, ideas. This is the other everyday thing I couldn't live without in my teaching practice. And it is just uh, an organizer. This is where I'm bringing marking home with me. This is where I'm collecting parent permission forms, all loose sheets of paper that might come across my path on a day-to-day -day basis in teaching. This is how I'm using it to stay organized. If I'm not carrying my bag around the school with me and I have to travel class to class, I'm bringing two things. I'm bringing this and I'm bringing my teacher plan book and that's where I'm going class to class with, as well as my laptop. And then last but not least, at the very back of the bag, you've got a laptop sleeve. Now, in the school I work at, we only use Chromebooks, so this laptop sleeve is built for much bigger computers, lots of space for it, but it keeps it nice and protected, keeps it closer to your body, but that's the last thing in my, in my bag. That's what I use on a daily basis. So, I hope that was sort of interesting and or useful for you. If you have any questions about anything that I've got in my bag, anything you're curious more about, uh, drop a comment down below, let me know. I answer and respond to all the comments. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is there something that you think I'm missing? Is there something that you don't think I should need? I would take it out. Let me know, thoughts, opinions. I'm always open for suggestions. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and as the school year progresses, just know that videos will be coming to this channel a lot more regularly. Just had to take the summer, decompress a little bit. Hope y'all are doing well. Stay safe out there. We're all in this together.